Hello everyone and welcome back to our Wayfinder video. Today we're going to talk about controller support on in Wayfinder on PC. Because of course when you play on PlayStation, it supports controller, you know, the PlayStation controller. But what about when you play on PC? How can you play with controller on PC and which controllers can you actually use? We're going to talk about that in this video right now. First of all, before we begin to talk about it, you have to do one thing in Steam before control actually works in your game. So first of all, open up your Steam. In the top left corner, you see the Steam button. You click on Settings. After you click on Settings, it will pop up a new window where you have to click on Controller, and then you have to enable the controller you have. So for example, enable uh, Xbox controller, PlayStation, Switch, and Generic. So basically, <clears throat> I have all those controllers we can test today. So again, enable that controller you have if you have an Xbox, a PlayStation, a Switch, or a generic controller. So that is a must before it actually works in the game. Those little that little step. Then once you get into the game, you basically just have to enable or you know turn on your Bluetooth or connect it through the cable. And then we're gonna test today the PlayStation controller. We're going to test the Nintendo Switch Pro controller. We're going to test a generic controller, in my case, which is the Stadia controller. The Stadia controller is now a generic controller, which can be used. If you have a Stadia controller, you can turn it into a Bluetooth controller. You just have to go to Google Stadia's website and do it. Then they're going to reprogram your controller to make it work with Bluetooth. And we're also going to play with the Xbox controller. So basically, there's one thing you have to remember when you do this. When I switch between all these controllers in the game, it's kind of dumb by the game, but I have to turn off Bluetooth every time I switch them because um, it, it won't allow me to like just turn on all four and play with them. Before we start testing them, there's one very important option you need to do when you enable your controller. When you go into settings here, click escape, say settings, go to controls, sorry, game, game, game. here, you can see controller button type. You can pick between what kind of layout in the game, what kind of which buttons should it show? Because you can see um, the PlayStation controller here has you know a, a square like a triangle here in the top, where the Xbox controller has a Y. So, and you know, and the Nintendo Switch controller has a, a, a different layout also. So it's important you go in here and switch this one to what controller you're using, so you get the right input from the game. But let's try it out. Let's start with the Xbox controller. That's my favorite one. So basically, I just turn it on until it connects to my Bluetooth. That should happen very soon. It just happened. What you do when you get into the game, you press on A with your Xbox controller and boom. There we go. Now it's working. And you can see right now it's using the wrong interface. It's actually telling me I have a PlayStation interface, which is very wrong. So I go into my settings. I go down here on Xbox. And boom, now it shows me the Xbox control. And again, the game plays so well. If you haven't tried the game with a controller, I highly recommend it. I actually prefer playing this game with a controller compared to actually when playing with mouse and keyboard. Of course, if you have ranged weapon with shooting, it might be easier with mouse because, you know, it's still aiming. You still have to aim in the head in this game to get give more damage. So a, a mouse, of course, can help with range it. But if you have melee weapon, no difference. It's it's e even before I feel like it's more easier with the controller. So that was the Xbox controller. Let's get rid of that. So we're going to go down in the Bluetooth, turn it off. It's going to complain about that it's disconnected and we're going to enable it again. Now we're going to try the switch controller, which is here. And of course it has failed me and run out of power. So we're just going to there we go. Now it's connected. I'm going to click on a button. There we go. Again, I have to go into settings. Ugh. You have to remember when you're playing with the Nintendo Switch controller, it, you you know, you don't jump on the low, low key anymore. Now you jump on the side key because on Nintendo, they have swapped around A and B. Um, I don't know why, but that's just how Nintendo works. So I'm jumping on where you normally would dodge and I dodge where you normally would jump. And again, it shows me the correct, you know, things in the right corner. Uh, it doesn't have any colors. That's just Xbox. So, but still, game plays very well. And yeah, I have to admit the, the, the Pro Control for Nintendo is really, really good. It's a really good controller. So I highly recommend it. But the only thing is like, you know, it swaps A and B, which can be a bit 
confusing if you're ever going to play on a PlayStation or Xbox. It's going to be very confusing since they swapped them around. But test complete. Both Xbox and Nintendo Switch controller works. Now we're going to try the one that is probably the most popular one, which is going to be the PlayStation controller. We're going to enable Bluetooth again. We're going to wait till the controller is connected. Till it has connected. Please connect. There we go. Pressing again. Press X here. There we go. You always just press the one in the bottom. Then it will confirm that this is now the one we use. And again, I have to go into settings. Now we're going to switch it to PlayStation 5 controller. And now you can see it uses the right buttons in the left corner, in the right corner. And again, game runs very smooth. Controller works, you start of the blue, nothing there. Just works. And to prove the last one for you, that it actually also supports... I'm going to turn up Bluetooth. There we go. And my Xbox controller doesn't give up. I just keep like looking for Bluetooth. I'm going to try to shut it down. Good night, Xbox controller. Thank you. Good. The last one we're going to test now is... As it also... Holy damn, the Stadia controller run... I, last time I let charged up to like 50%, but it's already dead. That's quite impressive. Okay, so it's now searching through Bluetooth. I have the stage control here. There we go. It should be connected now. There we go. I just had to like turn on Bluetooth and off again. So now you can see I'm playing with my stage controller in the game also. And for this one here, the interface, I think it's the same as the Xbox, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So when you're playing with this one here, which is um stadia controller you basically have to go down go xbox and now it fits what what the stadia controller has so again this was a test just to show you how to enable controlling controllers in steam how basically you know connect them through bluetooth or cable that's up to you all this test here was done on bluetooth so cable is of course also going to work but now you know that in bluetooth it works for example in diablo 4 the game uh, you cannot use the playstation controller bluetooth but you can use it wired which is a bit weird but you can see all these controllers stadia xbox nintendo and playstation control they they all work with this game bluetooth so you can play when you stay you can play it on your steam deck your pc whatever you want to do and it's all gonna work so and you can just always switch back to keyboard use it and it will switch back to the normal keyboard there you go so thanks for watching have a great day, have a great evening. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Again, this game has 100% full control support, so you don't need to use any community profiles or anything like that. The game just fluently works with controller, so no profiles you have to adjust and stuff like that. It just works. So, peace out, have a good day, bye.